Welcome to the Crystal Audio Engine VST and Effects Chainer tutorial. What we're going to show you here is how to add VST effects to uh, the Crystal Audio Engine and how to use Effects Chainer to increase the slots that you have in each channel and in the master section. Now the uh, effects that come with Crystal, the four main effects, are totally usable as my mix video shows. And most of the time, the two slots and the EQ on each channel and the three in the master section uh, are totally fine, but sometimes you want to expand your palette. And the limitations in Crystal won't allow you to do that. So the first thing we need to do is add some VST effects by going to Preferences, VST Effects. Now right at the top, you'll see Scan Global VST Folders, the Steinberg folder. This is where VST effects are automatically installed 99% of the time. So if you've installed some VST effects, make sure this box is checked so Crystal can find them. Now Crystal allows you to select three VST folders to add, and I made up two earlier, so we'll go there now and select them. You'll see in this one that I've already arranged everything. EQ, reverbs, everything are in their own folders, and it will show up in the list like this, separated and ready to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and select a second folder to show you what happens if you get doubles or if you accidentally uh, select a folder and how to remove it later. And after we hit OK, we're going to go ahead and restart Crystal so the changes take effect. OK, now when we go down to the effects slots, we see we still got the four Crystal effects, plus all the ones we just added. These are broken down into uh, styles or types of effects, which are further broken down into the maker or creator of the effects. I then continue on and add another subfolder where I place all the effects from that particular maker. This makes it easy for me to locate the files and also to update them as needed if I start having problems with any of them. Now, if we go back up here, we can see we have two of the same effect. And in each of these folders, there's doubles. So what we need to do is we need to go back to Preferences, VST Effects. And we'll select the second folder and right click and remove path. Now we'll click OK and we'll restart Crystal. Okay, now we'll go down and check our handiwork. And we see we got one of each item now, which is basically what we set out to do. Now I want you to notice some of these folders, um, like the EQ, will only it has three EQ showing right now. And the Reaper folder only has three, but I know I loaded more. And that's where this utility, Effects Chainer, comes in. Besides its ability to add a ton more effects slots, to Crystal by using only one of the slots in each channel. It can also find VSTs that Crystal will not load. To set this up, we right click and go down to Manage VST Folders. And let me go ahead and remove this. And we'll close this down, go back and right click again, Manage VST Folders, and now we're gonna add a folder. We're gonna add the same folder that we added at the beginning of this. And we're gonna skip number two and go ahead and click yes to allow it to scan the folders. And now when it's done, all we do is left click, go to VST, see the crystal VST folder, and here is the list again. But notice there's more EQs in here. We got three extra EQs in this folder. And now if we go check the Reaper folder, we'll see we also got three additional items in this one also. And if you explore the folder more, you'll see there's a lot of them that Crystal didn't find on its scan. Now, DirectX is another effects format that I don't use a lot, but it don't hurt to scan it. This item here just shows the last 10 effects that you've accessed. Now what we're going to do is uh, create a basic effects chain using the Reaper plugins. As you select them, they'll pop up in the effect chainer window. This button here will turn the effect on and off, which basically removes it totally from the chain. This button here will bring up the uh, graphical user interface of the effect so you can make adjustments on it. If it don't have its own interface, it will use the native crystal one. Next up, we're going to add an EQ. Now, I happen to like the Reaper EQ a lot. It, uh, it sounds good, it's easy to use, and it has a lot of features. Now, besides the drop-down list of the available slopes, 
you also have a graphical representation of the changes you're making to the signal itself. To end this chain, we're going to go ahead and toss a, a gate at the end. Now, all of the Reaper effects are free to use. You can download them from the Reaper site. And I'd like to point out something. With all three effects and the effect chainer running right now, let's take a look at the performance meter. Next, we're going to save this chain. We can save it in two ways. We can come up here and select a Save Preset. This will save it in your standard FXP format, which is what most DAWs and effects use to save their chains when you create them. And now that we've got that saved, we'll go ahead and remove these from Effects Chainer. It's a right click and clear list. Then we'll go ahead and shut this down, remove it from this channel, and we'll move to another channel and open it back up. And we'll go ahead and try to load the uh, chain we just saved. And I say try because this is where FX Chainer falls flat. The FXP format just seems super buggy in this plugin. So I'm going to show you how to save in its native format. First off, we'll rebuild our FX Chain by using the Favorite Plugins window. And now that we got it rebuilt, we'll save in the FX Chainer's native format. We right click. Come down here to Save Chain. Notice it's a different extension on the end of it. And we'll go ahead and use the same name. We'll click on the name and we'll make it number two. We'll go ahead and save this and repeat what we did before. We'll clear the list, close this down, and move to another channel. Okay, let's get it open. And let's see if we save this time. Right click and load chain. And we'll select the basic box too and open it. And as we can see, it's saved in that format. I've never had a problem saving in the native format, just, um, just in the FXP. We'll go ahead and toss a few more effects on here. And then we'll go ahead and right click and save the chain. We'll rename this one a really big chain. Go ahead and save that. And again, right click and clear the list and shut this down and move to another channel and reopen it. And we'll right click and load the chain. And we'll see how we did. And once again, it saved fine. Uh, saving in this format also saves all your various settings for each effect, so the whole chain is kept intact. When using Effect Chainer in Crystal, you really expand the capabilities of Crystal itself. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and gives you some ideas on how to use Effects Chainer. This is Smurf from OpenEye Music. We'll see you at the next tutorial, and happy tracking!